Well, hello, folks. Welcome to the Wolf Den. This is Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Talking about knives. And I'm going to show you something that is brand new for 2022. And I may be the first one to actually have a video exclusively about this. I'm hoping it's always nice to be number one. All right, well, here you go. This is the new Buck 110 Sport. You know, there's been numerous variations of an aluminum frame knife with, this one has linen micarta, which is kind of an OD green. But I mean, there's been all kinds of reiterations of this. And now Buck is kind of jumping into the, you know, the, what, as Chuck Buck said during the SHOT Show 2022 or 2021, I don't know when it, the hell it was, but YouTube was full of the videos. I was sick and tired of watching all the knife guys, you know, all the uh, knife distributors going from booth to booth to booth to booth talking to those guys. But Chuck Buck sat down with the Knife Center and... You know, he went through and he talked about this knife and I just got done spending literally hours goofing around with this thing. I wanted to try to put, as a Wicked Edge owner, I wanted to put my own edge on it. I still, I still need to like go back and work on it. The big issue was, see this hole? They put a thumb stud there. And the thumb stud was constantly in the way of getting to this portion of the edge. That portion of the edge. Because the thumb stud was in the way. So, the neat thing, of course, another thing about this knife is that it's a take apart. You can take it apart. It's got all Torx fittings. Uh, you know, me as a sheath guy, I could go without this. So I tried to take the pocket clip off because, you know, as Chuck Buck said, or CJ or, yeah, CJ Buck, I guess, they listened to their customers and got rid of the bigger uh, pocket clip. I don't mind pocket clips. Oh my God, how these guys get all jazzy about a pocket clip. I mean, I find them on a buck. Anyhow, it's going in a sheath. But I tried to get rid of this pocket clip. And you couldn't. Because as soon as you took the screws out down inside there, and you took the pocket clip off, you put the screws back, they kind of stood proud of this here. They don't recess all the way back in and go flush again. So that's one thing I didn't like. I like how light it is and all that. I don't like the thumb stud. Um, you know, they could they could have just as soon gave us a, a nail nick. But, oh, everything's got to have a thumb stud and a deep carry pocket clip. Oh, my God, cut me a break. So, I couldn't get this thing off. I literally could not get this off. And I'll have, here, I'll show it to you. Here it is. It's not even a screwed on one. Let me put my glasses on so I can see better. It is a pressed, let me get the super light over here. It is got these knurlings here. If you can see those little knurlings. And it goes through the blade and then was like pressed on. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. I mean, how do they expect us to sharpen this? I even tried it on my work sharp. 
I tried it on my work sharp and it kept getting in the way. Kept getting in the way, even on my brand new work sharp, you know, angle sharpener. Other than that, you know, the anodized aluminum here is very nice. It's light. I mean, when I go like this and really grip it, it leaves an impression of the pocket clip in my hand. I might take this off and leave the holes. I hate holes in a knife. You know, when they even take a pocket clip and they go, well, you can move it over here. You know, you can move it over on this side and then it leaves holes over here. I don't like that. That's aesthetically not pleasing. So this isn't a reversible pocket clip, as you can see. You can't put it over here. So there's a lot to be desired. Another thing that I'm not really all that kind of spanky with here is they're doing this on a lot of knives now, on a lot of bucks. They're printing on what used to be engraved or milled or whatever you want to call it right into the blade. Hence the example of... There you go. That is as much a tradition as this whole knife is a traditional knife. The old original, Buck 110. It's This is a tradition. And so is that engraving or milling or whatever. I don't even know what you call it. Into the blade. And then now what are they doing? Printing it on there. Doing print on there. It's not engraved in there. That's some kind of laser etching. I would pay $2 more to have this here. Ah, here's another thing that I noticed right away is where's this pin? Shouldn't it be right about there? I guess that's underneath here. Recessed. It looks like it's there. You can see a bump down inside there. But, you know, I got this thing and I was a little disappointed to tell you the truth. And I mean, I'm I'm swapping out bucks and selling on eBay and buying. I've been doing it. I'm, I can't find that happy spot. I mean, I can find it. And it's called a buck 560 titanium. I'm supposing I'm going to take this and I'm going to press it back on. I guess I'll put it in a vise and just press it on. I literally sent Buck an email. Now it's Saturday, so of course, you know, you'll never hear back from him until Monday or Tuesday. But I sent him an email about this knife and I said, hey, is this a pocket clip on this thing? Can I take it off? It's in the way of my sharpening. So I don't know what they were thinking. Here's, here's what this knife, and for me, perfection would be nail neck, engraving, not printing, and get rid of this damn pocket clip. Because I'm sticking it in the sheath anyhow. Let's see, I'll show you. I'm just sticking it in. I'm just putting it in a sheath like this. That's all I'm putting it in. I wanted this to be my like daily EDC. So I'm not carrying around my super high dollars with me. My collectibles. And now I got a little buyer's remorse. Just because of a couple things. Oh, I would have loved to have had the nail neck here. I mean, I ran my damn stone into it a million times here. I tried to do every angle I could to get in there. So now I guess I got to press this back on. So I don't know, but I just thought I would give you a real quickie 
I mean, it's a beautiful feeling knife. It's nice and round. It's lightweight. I'm I'm a clip point fan. Clip clip point blade fan. There you go. The brand new for 2022. The Buck 110 Sport. If anything, when you take this pocket clip off, you should be able to reinsert the screws so they don't stick up, so they're flush. Fill in the holes. Fill in the holes. That should always be a goal of a knife company, I believe. Fill in the holes. And don't cheap out on us. I know what Buck's doing. They're doing everything they can to make this lighter and give people options. Hey, I got a Buck 110 in carbon fiber. It don't get no lighter than that. So there you go. Buck 110 Sport. S30V. Steel. Linen micarta. Anodized aluminum. Cerakoted deep carry pocket clip. Much smaller. Much smaller than the one that everybody and their brother did nothing but complain about. Good God. Let's see. They complained about that one. There's the difference between the new and the old. They stuck it on these posts. I mean, I guess that's what everybody didn't like. But I guess this one is better. But still, there's a fault there. Always give people, no matter what, the, the, the opportunity to make a choice. That's what I would do as much as I could. Give them an opportunity to make a choice. Nail Nick would have been just fine and dandy. Nail Nick, you know. I mean, I personally don't do a lot of one-handed opening. Right? For the sheer fact... Let me get one that has a... Okay, here's my carbon fiber. There's another one. That's pressed on again. I just noticed it. But I mean, that isn't... That isn't really that easy. I have to adjust and then open it. So what am I... What, what kind of time am I saving here, really? Okay, I'm not, it's not a time saver. I mean, I don't know. Can I get this open with one swoop? No. Yeah, I guess I can. I just never do. And this is how I always close it, too. I hardly ever let them just bang shut, even. All right, this is taking too long, but there you go. Maybe this is the first user video of the Buck 110 2022 Sport. Thanks for watching and stopping on by.